Hello, thanks for joining us on the news update. I'm Ruth Aguela. At least 42 people died when a dam burst its banks near a town in Kenya's Rift Valley. The local governor said on Monday as heavy rains and floods battered the country. The dam burst near Mai Mahiu in Nakuru County, washing away houses and cutting off a road, with rescuers digging through debris to find survivors. 42 dead. It's a conservative estimate. There is still more in the mud. We're working on recovery, said Nakuru Governor Susan Kihika. Monday's dam collapse raises the total death toll over the March-May wet season to 120, as heavier than usual rainfall pounds East Africa, compounded by the El Nino weather pattern. In other news, Togolese vote in legislative elections on Monday after a divisive constitutional reform that opponents say allows President Fao Nasingbe to extend his family's decades long grip on power. The ballot comes after lawmakers approved the reform this month that creates a new prime minister. Style posts opponents fear that it is tailored for Nasingbe to avoid presidential term limits and stay in office. Nasingbe succeeded his father, Nasingbe Eyadema, who ruled for almost four decades himself following a coup in a small coastal West African state between Benin and Ghana. Monday's vote will elect 113 lawmakers and also for the first time 179 regional deputies from the country's five districts who along with municipal councillors will, will elect a newly created Senate. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has said he will stay on as Spain's leader following five days of speculation over his future. Last week, Mr. Sanchez announced he was cancelling all official engagements after a court opened an initial inquiry into his wife over corruption claims. He called the allegations a harassment campaign orchestrated by right-wing media. His decision last week to take time out from his duties to reflect on whether it is worth carrying on as Prime Minister came as a surprise even to people from his Socialist Party. The accusations against Mr. Sanchez's wife, Begona Gomez, were brought against her by a man linked to the far right called Miguel Bernard. And for us in Nigeria, the Ministry of Solid Minerals Development says following the 60 days deadline given to illegal miners, 70 cooperative societies have been formed and will now be integrated into the formal mining industry where royalties can be paid to the federal government. Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dili Alake, announced this at the two-day step-down retreat for staff of the ministry in Abuja. The minister, however, notes that illegal miners yet to form cooperatives will face the mines marshals. Those are the headlines. Thanks for your time.